it's me! It's Liz from Old Stables Crafts for some more fun and games. I'm sort of in the middle of finishing off some bits for today. It's... Where's my stamp pin? Oh, there it is. Um, it's been a bit of a manic week. Um, I think I mentioned on Tuesday I'm in the middle of sorting out my craft room, which I finished, more or less. Almost. Um, but... I've now got a team retreat to pack and I've put trestle tables up in my craft room so I have almost no space again. Um, while people are joining I'm just going to do some very quick heat embossing which will save us time later. Um, of course I don't know where half my things are because I've moved them but um, I'm hoping that I've got everything to hand. But let me just do this heat embossing while people join. This is where I'm hoping that I have actually gone live. Uh, yes, I... I have! Woohoo! So... Perfect. That will also save some time with noise later. Just cool that down a bit. But yes, yeah, so things are all over the place. Um, hardly, hello Suzanne, um, hardly any idea where, where things are. Because um, I've put them in new homes. I've had to label drawers. Um, I will be doing a craft room tour. Uh, I've been saying over the last few days that I will be taking some time off because uh, I'm shattered. Um, but I will post videos in place of where the lives normally are. So I won't abandon you completely. Um, and I must do some blog posts. I haven't I haven't been anywhere near my blog for about a week. So yeah, not great. Sorry, been a bit busy. Hmm. And it's one of those really odd days here today. It's, um, oh, I've just realised I've broken the top of my, of my drink bottle. It's fine. I smash, um, ice cubes with it. So that might be why. <clears throat> it's fine. It's not leaking or anything. It's fine. It's just cracked. If needs must, I'll get a new one. Um, so yes, Clever Cats today, which is kind of in the, um, halloween -y section of the mini catalogue. Is that the right side? Yes, it is. Um, but I don't think it should be. I am going to do some Halloweeny stuff with it, but I'm also going to do some non Halloweeny stuff with it um, because you can. Hello, Steffi. Um, I think it's just you and Suzanne so far, but um, who knows? More people will join later, I am sure. I'm just checking that everything is all right. And it looks to be. Um, so, team team ret virtual retreat packs are being uh, packed up as we speak, Steffi. I've got a little bit more die cutting to do. And uh, then hopefully I want everything to be in the post by tomorrow. Hello, Pam. Um, I want everything to be in the post by tomorrow so that um, those ones going to... Um, across the sea will get there in time. Hello Sherry from Onic, Oregon. So we've actually got quite nice weather here today. Just thought I'd do my usual update. Um, hello Janie from Denmark. Woo. Um, welcome. So yes, we were told it was going to be overcast and fairly blur, and actually it's fine. Hello Sandra from Perth and hello Colette. So we've got a reasonable number of people with us. So I'm going to flip the camera down and um, get started. Uh, there we go. There we go. Right. It's nice and sunny in Cornwall. Good. Yeah, uh, I think Cornwall's had some better weather than we've had up here. My brother has just been down to North Cornwall with his family. He was down last week um, and at the beginning of the week they looked really, really cold. He was trying to be ever so tough wearing shorts and he looked frozen. His wife was all bundled up. Um, and um, by the end of the week, it, it looked more like short weather. Anyway, so clever cats. 
clever cats are great if you're a cat person possibly not so good if you're not but uh, I'm going to read the sentiments because I don't think all of these are Halloween some of them are so first one really I've been this cute all nine lives hello Barbara Marshall from North Carolina you've got your cuppa so let's go <laughs> hello Audrey from Scotland uh, so really I've been this cute all nine lives um, have a perfect Halloween hey crazy cat I keep calling this the crazy cat stamp set I don't know why I'm well I it's clever cats but why did they not call it crazy cats anyway uh, my tail is it my tail says it's the twitching hour and it's Halloween so absolutely some Halloween in there hello Kathy from California gosh it must be quite early with you um if you are into Batman, there are some absolutely perfect Batman style bats. Um, there's a pumpkin, there's a cat in a box. I've seen a lot of those and the box. Uh, there's this cat, which I think is supposed to be sitting on the broomstick. I haven't quite worked that one out yet because it doesn't sit particularly comfortably on top of the pumpkin, which I think I've just realize oh no it was the right way up um there's a little spider and these dots when you just look at the stamp set i looked at this and i kind of went what are the dots for and then i worked out it was for the spider um hello cheryl from north carolina so yes so and a cat peeking over the top of the pumpkin i'm guessing um and then yes these two batman style bats which are tiny it's photopolymer so great for two-step stamping because um, you've got this is two-step and this is two-step. So all I have done so far, and I have to say I'm not overly impressed with it, but all I've done so far is um, a crooked pumpkin um, with a cat coming over the top. Now, if you want a really, really, really dark black, you have two options. You can use stays on. Don't particularly like them clear up from stays on, particularly on photopolymer. I don't think it's a good mix. Um, this was Memento Tuxedo Black, but if you want it really, really black, uh, you want the Stamparatus. And if you do two or three inkings, it will be really nice and black. So I've kind of done that as a bit of a play. But what I want to do is do some fussy cutting, fussy cutting, um, and um, put it on some Halloween paper and then do some non-Halloween. Now, some of you will know that I have cats. I am a cat person. Um, let it be said, I'm also a dog person. So I'm just trying to find some scraps of white card. Um, I'm also a dog person. I was brought up with dogs, but we acquired, because it turned up on our doorstep, a stray cat many years ago. And hubby and I really haven't looked back. Um, we are now, we've had, so we had her and then we got two more cats rescue cats um to keep her company she hated them um and then um and then when they passed away we got uh three more cats which are the ones that are currently with us which are salt pepper and mustard our first three were um waif which was the one that turned up on the doorstep because she was a waif then we got stray which was spelt like straight, but without the T. And we hadn't planned on the third one, but he came along because he wouldn't be separated from his mother, which was stray. Um, so we called him Ampersand, as in the and sign. Short for, and we shortened it to Ampy. Right, so we had wave and stray. Um, and now we have salt, pepper and mustard. So quite a few of you seem to be in Carolina, um, which makes sense because you're East Coast as opposed to West Coast. And West Coast, I think, is, you know, really early in the morning. Right. I'm going to use some soft, soft suede, I think, for my broom. Um, so I'm going to ink it up. I have um, taken the surface off the stamp, as in the, the film the spray that they use to make sure that they come out of the mold uh, these ones were particularly sticky 
um, but they seem to be okay now. But I did use a white eraser, one white eraser to do that. Just rub it over um, and it stops the surface being too sticky. If it's very sticky, it can be difficult to stamp the first couple of times you use it. Um, it just doesn't seem to go very well with the uh, with the um, ink. So I am going to do some fussy cutting. Um, fairly quickly, it's not difficult, and I have already stamped the cat that I'm going to use, but I haven't fussy cut. Well, I've I fussy cut one version, uh, but then I decided I wanted to do a different version. So really easy fussy cutting. It's mostly straight uh, with just a couple of sticky out bits. So we've had lots of exciting things going on in the team. Um, we've just had our team swap for the mini catalog, um, which uh, those of you who are on the team who haven't yet had your second batch of swaps, um, you should be getting those today or tomorrow. Uh, I met up with Jan yesterday to talk about something else and she was going to the post office with them at that moment. Uh, I obviously managed to pick mine up from her without them having to go through the post. But they are stunning, absolutely stunning. And uh, one of the girls has just posted in our Facebook group that, and I said how, how stunning they were, and she said, just goes to show what a talented group of people have uh, congregated around me. And they are, they are amazing. Uh, most of them, if not all of them, but most of them um, just craft for themselves. They don't run a business or anything. Um, and they are just so talented. Some of them, I hope, actually sell their cards because they are amazing. But um, <laughs> there was someone on the... Um, there was someone on uh, Facebook earlier this morning who was asking if I had a retired stamp set, which I must go and check. Um, and she said, because she used to be a demo and she was not sure that she wanted to be a demo again um, because she said that uh, you had to you had to sell, which I disavowed her of that particular thought. So that's a really easy bit of fussy cutting. Um, and I said, of my team of 23 directs, 22 and a half craft for themselves. Um, I have one cat named Oreo. She tries very hard to help me make cards too. Yeah, my cats aren't allowed in the craft room. Well, I say that. I do have a bed for them. Um, and I have opened my windows because it's quite oppressive here today. Um, and so I have opened just a chink of, of my windows and I will probably end up with a cat hanging off one of the windows before we finish. So this I have, let's bring it up so I can, let me see if I can see how close that is. Uh, it needs to go kind of there. So this is heat embossed. It gets a lovely black heat emboss, um, which is what I was doing for those of you who joined immediately at three o'clock. That's what I was finishing off. Um, but it gets a really lovely, um, shiny, deep black. It's a little bobbly, but um, that's kind of not unusual for solid heat embossing. If you're very clever, and I'm not, uh, you can throw another layer of um, embossing powder on um, while it's still while the first layer is still wet, and make it even darker and shinier. Um, I'm not that clever. I've done it where you're doing um, like seals, so you do lots of layers of heat embossing and then put a rubber, not photopolymer, rubber stamp into the heat embossing while it's still liquid you have to do about well certainly three if not four or five layers of embossing powder and then you stamp into it and it's like doing a, a seal for the back of a letter which is fun so Patricia is your cat black and white or predominantly black with a bit of white Oreo somehow seems to bring up an image of a cat like this actually In fact, why don't we ask who are cat people and who I could do? I'm going to do a poll. I haven't done a poll for a while. Uh, let's see if it'll let me do it live. Yes, it will. Oh, 
you, you a cat person or a dog person and we're going to have cat and dog and ask there we go takes a couple of minutes for the live to get across the pond I th it, it takes a couple of minutes anyway uh, so we don't see the first few minutes oh okay I will remember that mostly black fair enough so my my poll has gone up uh, to see whether you're dog or cat person if you're both tick both I haven't put both as an option um, mostly cats at the moment we have 50% cat that's probably because one person has commented I don't see how we can have 50% cat how does that work that's weird it's now 56% cat I don't see how we can get that that sort of percentage but anyway how do you get to 54% if only two or three people have voted maybe it's, maybe it does it out of the total population watching the video anyway it'll be interesting to see what the result is later on right so I must remember thank you for letting me know Bar Barbara that you don't catch the first few minutes uh, so I can just do some general blether um, three cats and a dog oh do they get on all right I've never, I've never had cats at the same time as dogs. With as we were kids, or when we were kids, rather, as we were kids, when we were kids, we had dogs. Um, I was about six months old when my parents got their first dog, and she was about eight weeks, eight or nine weeks. She'd just been weaned, and she used to be able to walk through the bars of my playpen, nick my toys, and walk out the other side. But we kind of, we were puppies together. Hello, Kathy from Ontario in Canada got one cat called Mousky. Not very good at catching them. We have Salt, um, who is our mouser. She is the t most timid cat you could possibly meet, but I wouldn't want to be a cat, uh, mouse anywhere near her, or a shrew for that matter. Right, so I've got a piece of the cute Halloween paper, and it's the one with the um, ghosts, that's the word I'm looking for, on the front. Um, and then on the back it's got boo which struck me as being not an unreasonable paper to choose for. Um, oh, actually, I say that. That's because I was going to do something else. In fact, I will I will do the something else in a minute. An 18-year-old Shih Tzu. Wow. And one seven-year-old cat. My pugs insists on a bath from one of them each day. Good heavens. had cats as a child but dogs the last 15 or so years i miss dogs steffi i really do i used to love my dog and we had other dogs later um i might go for the grace Ooh, no i might go for that um because i've decided the the thing i've just already done that i don't particularly like that i did before we started um i'm going to change going to change what I was going to do. Right, so a piece of designer series paper, one trimmer, and I'm going to cut this at, um, yeah, um, three and three quarters by five and a half, and cats are definitely winning. We're up to 62% cats. Um, and then I'm going to, so that's three and three quarters by five and a half, um, I do put the measurements when I eventually get round to it uh, on my website and I put them in American card as well. So I am, my card is all over the place at the moment. Um, I have no idea where the neutrals have gone. There they are. Good grief. Right. So it says basic black. I'm wondering if basic grey would work. Yeah, I think it possibly would. Although there's part of me that wants to bring in a colour that isn't in the paper, um, which is a regal, which apparently the regals are in amongst the saddles. Sottles. Who is a cat, by the way? Who is a cat? Oh, who is a cat? Right, sorry. 
Um, you have an 18 year old bossy bitch called you who is a cat. I was just reading the who is a cat before I got to the bossy bitches. Right, so I've got Rich Razzleberry and this is going to make sense when you understand what I've already got going. Um, at the moment it won't probably and may not ultimately either. Who knows? I surely don't. Um, neutrals, there we go. Neutrals. Let's put the regals back in where the regals should have been. So I've got Rich Razzleberry. I've got my... Um, ghosts and bats, pumpkins and skulls. That's the word I was looking for, skulls. Could someone lend me a brain? Smith was a ginger tom you adopted in Birmingham. Aww. And you've adopted a Springer, Spaniel, a Springer Collie Cross. Oh, that must be exciting. Ooh, now, is the connection okay? It looks all right here. The reason I ask is because um, I had a booster a Wi-Fi booster um, on one of the pieces of furniture in my studio that is now no longer in the studio. Uh, so I've had to move where the booster is. Um, and I'm just a little, it says it's excellent condition, but it looks a bit juddery. So if you could let me know, that would be terribly helpful. Um, it might be that I'll have to find another home for my booster. But if you could let me know, that would be jolly helpful. So I'm trying to do five things at once, which is terribly rude. Um, but for those of you who know that my brother and I are in the process of selling my late father's house, or our late father's house, um, this stiff stuff we're trying to sort out this afternoon, and of course we decided to do it at two minutes to three. Right, so this is Rich Razzleberry. No, it's not. It's Blackberry Bliss. This is Rich Razzleberry with the paper on top. So I'm going to add one to t'other. And then I am going to add our fussy cut elements. And then I will think about how I'm going to get the sentiment on, preferably without sticking the card to me, which is what I seem to be doing somewhat successfully at the moment. Excuse me while I just wipe glue off my hand. Not receiving enough main... T ooh, ooh, juddering. Right, I'm going to see if I can move the booster. Bear with me. Hopefully, once it's caught up, that will be better. Let me see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks all right at my end, but that might be, I think that might be better. Um, I've put it back sort of where it was before. Everything's fine with you in Lincolnshire. A little judgery, but not too bad. Okay, so it's a bit weird. Um, as I say, I'm hoping it will be better now. Um, it's back more or less where it was to start with. Uh, before I decided to move it, it means I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put it on a semi-permanent basis. I might have to put a wall, uh, uh, a wall on my shelf, a shelf on my wall. Right, so I've got my um, broom, which I'm going to add with some dimensionals. Oh, and it's almost like I knew I was going to do something twig-like, pure fluke. So this is just a bit of edge piece. Yeah, yeah, it still says there's a bit of an issue, in which case it's not the um, booster. It's something else, it may be atmospheric, in which case there's not much I can do about it. So sorry about that. Right, so I'm going to have my boon at a slight angle. Then I'm going to have my cat on it. Um, now what's it as such funeral experience? Buffering. Then it says open widget. I'm kind of not wanting to. Judgery. Can't wait to use it. 
<gasps> yes, juddery. Uh, right, little bits, little bit, and then I will stick this on and we will think about sentiment. So there's our cat sitting on the broom. And let's think of a sentiment. Uh, I might just go for It's Halloween. As we've got what I would call obvious Halloween paper going there. Very sticky. And almost straight. Right, of course, I've thrown out all of the little bits of card that I used to have sitting by my side, ready for small sentiments, because, you know, that's just typical. <sighs> right, small piece of card. Um, I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry just to bring that colour in. Yeah, the error isn't with me. It must be the signal generally. Hey, crazy cat. I'm in Connecticut in the USA and there are no issues there. Thank you, Joanne, for letting me know. Yeah, it's, but it does say there's not very much signal, but there we go. Right, I'm hoping this is going to be something approaching straight. Who knows? <laughs> There we go. So, clean that off. That's going to stain my stamp. Don't care. Don't care. Um, it's because it's got red in it. Interestingly, one of the colours that stains stamps is uh, Knight of Navy. It's obviously got some red in the um, ink somewhere. Chopper. I have found so many weird things while I've been cat flying backwards. Yeah, absolutely, the cat is flying backwards. Love, room on the broom. I don't know the room on the broom. I'll have to have a look at it. So I'm not doing anything particularly exciting with this. I'm just chopping it. And then I will add some little bits of dimensional, only because I happen to know I have some little bits of dimensional. So I might as well use them. But yes, I have to say I'm really liking my room being tidy. So of course the challenge now is that I've got to keep my room tidy. I can't pop that just there. It's just fun. Right, okay, so I have an idea with this one. So this, I will put a liner in. Um, it is a cat flying backwards. I don't know quite how a cat, how it could not be flying backwards. I suppose if I had to put the broom the other way up. Good grief, woman. I wonder if I can do that now. <sighs> may not come up. It may, but it may not. I might be able to do this. Shall I see? Because you're right, it is flying backwards. Right, let's see if I can get that bit out from under there. This is called deconstruction. Right, so let's see if I can lift the tail up. Do you know, I just hadn't seen that. I just, my brain hadn't registered, but you are absolutely right. It is flying backwards. Ooh, someone's got a bonfire, I think. Definitely someone's got a bonfire going. And it's really not pleasant. How very antisocial. Um, right, so let's put some more bits on the broom. Uh, 
Told you I had no brain today. Oh, and the signal sorted itself out. Woohoo! Uh, right, so... It, I suppose that way, isn't it? Except it's now going downhill backwards. Or going downhill forwards. But I guess that is probably better than going up backwards. So there we are. Better! Oh, do remember, while you're watching me being particularly mindless, um... If you're enjoying me going wrong, do give me a bit of a thumbs up. That would be lovely. Right, OK, so this has boo all over it. And I'm thinking boo doesn't necessarily mean um, Halloween. So I'm going to cut this piece slightly smaller. So the first piece was three and three quarters by five and a half. So I'm going to do this one. Actually, I'm going to go three and a half by five and a quarter so it is quite a lot smaller and where is the thing I don't really like there we are it's here I don't really like it I'm just saying um, I'm going to trim this down quite a lot as well so I stamped this I will show you how I stamped it actually what I really want to do is straighten that out <laughs> too late now I shouldn't have cut that end off I'm going to stamp it again so that you can see how I stamped it um, because it's two-tone um, pumpkin that's the word I was looking for but struggling to come to my brain right so another piece of white card and I'm deliberately calling it white because I have no idea whether it's whisper white or basic white um, I need to do a compare and contrast but hey such is life. So I need my pumpkin. Oh, you've suddenly all gone very quiet. It worries me when you go quiet, particularly as the signal is supposed to have sorted itself out. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in my stamp of Um So I'm going to get a really nice black, black. Do you see what I mean? So, I need my pad, which is up here. So, hubby is about to water the garden, so apologies if there's noises off. Hello, Barbara. Oh, I just attached my, I just attached everything. Right. So. that there, that there, and then my stamp. I'm going to be radical and put it straight. I know. Oh. Hello, Lorna. You're never late. I know you're just watching, Joanne, but it's just a bit frightening when suddenly everyone goes quiet, particularly as the signal had been a bit dubious. So one of the issues with uh, photopolymer and the stamparatus is that because they are sticky, um, they do stick to the card um, when particularly when they don't have ink on now there was a reason I was putting that away so that I could then put that under there because that is the perfect height and there's all sorts of noises going off in, going on in the um, on the building site so tuxedo black and hopefully it won't pull up that's good and again and as I say you can use stays on which is a blacker black but it e equally is not great for um, particularly photopolymer stamps and it's a really mucky cleanup because you need to use stays on cleaner then you need to get the stays on cleaner off etc etc um, so it's just a bit of a faff but hopefully you will be able to see that that is a lot blacker than I did a cat earlier with just one layer of memento. So hopefully you can see that that is a lot blacker by doing three layers of memento. So that is our pumpkin. 
Now, someone asked on Tuesday what, I think it was Tuesday, still giggling over the backwards flag cat. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, yeah, I know. Brain, where is it? Um, someone asked me on Tuesday what I use for this, uh, for the, what I use to cut my, keep my chamois in, and it's one of the now retired half wood blocks uh, cases. Um, but I like it small for the Stamparatus. So let's pop that back in there. Then, now, uh, I am going to leave that on there, but only because I then want to stamp the sentiment and I thought, you know, let's have that straight as well. Old fashioned concept. So this is going to go over the pumpkin. And although I'm going to stamp it that way, the stripes on the pumpkin are actually symmetrical-ish. If you can be symmetrical-ish. So I'm going to take my pumpkin pie blend and not blend, stamp and write marker, and with the side, not the tip, but the side of the brush, I'm going to add some pumpkin pie ink because it's a pumpkin pie marker. Obviously, it's pumpkin pie ink. Where has my brain gone? I know the answer. The brain has gone into counting lots of bits of cardstock for the retreat boxes. Yay! Uh, I'm only dabbing it like this because A, it gives it some texture and B, you actually end up with more ink on the um, stamp. Uh, and then I've got Cajun Craze and I'm going to line up my stamp. I still didn't stamp it completely straight. Never mind. I'm going to line up my stamp there and take the tip of my Cajun Craze pen and draw the lines on. Now they're not going to line up perfectly but they will give that little bit of shading. And then it doesn't fit perfectly anyway so don't worry too much and I'm just going to go for getting it roughly in the right place like that and when I hold it up in a moment you will see that the Cajun craze has followed the lines. It works. Right, so I've got the baby cat, I say the baby cat, the little cat, peeking over the top of the pumpkin. Which, if I'm very lucky, I can get to actually stay on the card. There we go. Um, and I also want my sentiment, which is going to be this one I used before, which is really, I've been this cute all nine lives. Um, because we might as well stamp both at the same time. So I'm basically replicating what I did beforehand, which was supposed to save time and then I didn't like it. And now I'm doing this. Right, that is going to pull, so bone folder, and stamp case, memento, ink, stamp, and it's not quite lining up the cat's face but we can deal with that in a moment and one more time there we go so that is that and then just to deal with that white line I've got one of the stamp and write markers hello Deborah from Michigan um, and all I'm going to do is just join the two bits together. And nobody needs to know but us. So, can you see that we've got a little bit of shading on our pumpkin? I mean, it's not a huge amount, but we've got texture. Um, so I'll just clean those up and then pop them away. So backstage starts tonight. 
Um, for those of us in Europe, we get to stay up until the wee small hours of the morning for the next three days. Um, for those of you in Australia and New Zealand, you get up, get to get up really early in the morning. And for those of you in the United States and Canada, uh, you get to have sensible times of the day. But it makes perfect sense because of the way that the world sits. Um, the USA is between um, the South Pacific and Europe, so we kind of have to go with that as the timings. But I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, so here we go. So that is really, really black. And that is really, really not. Um, this is the one I did before. And again, you can see that this is not nearly as black as this. So the Stamparatus and um, three lots of ink does the job. So I now want to cut this down. And we've had, what did we go for? Three and a half. Right, so I want this to be quite a lot smaller. Uh, so it's three and a half by five and a quarter. So I'm thinking, can I take that much off? So that's an inch and a quarter. So three and a half. I did say three and a half, didn't I? So take an inch and a quarter off is two and a quarter. Yes. So I'm going to take an inch and a half off. Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do an inch. I didn't mean an inch and a half. I meant an inch and a quarter. I'm going to do an inch and an eighth. Three and a half. Yep. Uh, so I've taken off an inch and an eighth because I don't want this. In fact, I might even take off an inch. I don't want this to look as if it's meant to be in the middle. Um, and if I do it too much, it will. That didn't make any sense, did it? So this is five and a quarter. Yep. So I'm going to cut it down to four and a quarter. And pop that under there. So that's going to go in the middle there. Probably popped up. And we're going to put it on... I think I'm going to go pumpkin pie. Not actually a favourite colour of mine. Um, Cajun craze and pumpkin pie, really not favourites. That's a pumpkin pie that is sort of the right size. And I don't have any Cajun craze pre-cut. No, that's cherry cobbler. So I am going... Ooh, I know what I could could do instead, if I've got any pre-cut, which I probably haven't. Do I do? I do, I do. I am going to bring in, because it's actually not far off cinnamon cider. So what, oh, I know what I'm going to do. No, no, change, change plan, change of plan. Don't you love it when a plan goes off the rails? You're very forgiving of my so-called brain. I'm going to go, I will go cinnamon cider, but I'm gonna do a cinnamon cider card. So, half sheet, scored, folded, usual stuff. You can do it either way, half a sheet is half a sheet. So we are going to attach this to this with this. I think I'm going to have to change the uh, title of this video to Backward Flying Cat. You couldn't make it up really, could you? Um, no, 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 no. And if anyone has a brain they would like to lend me, I would be very, very grateful. If I'm this dizzy when I haven't been up until two o'clock in the morning, can you imagine what I'm going to be like come Sunday morning? Oh, we're at 67% cat people.
and the reason I'm going boo is because it's going boo. I might even go, I'm going to offset. Yeah, I'm going to offset. I'm going to pop it up and I'm going to offset it because um, I can. And as I'm not Bruno Petucci, I'm not going to use a whole sheet of dimensionals. I'm going to use quite a lot because this is thin, not it's not thick white, it's the not thick. I'm never quite sure what we should call the not thick. Um, I call it smooth or not thick, but it's not thin, if you see what I mean. <laughs> oh, Lorna, yes, I know that. It's just ridiculous. It's because I've spent the whole time doing up my room this last week and my brain has been an optional extra. Right, so I am going to do the insides because I rarely do and I think I should. So we've got two bits of that and I'm going to do one as a, um, a Halloween-y one and one less so. So I tell you, they're really sticky, these ones. So let's, oops, let's do it properly. Let's pop that down on the paper. Go on, stick to the paper, please. Okay, don't stick to the paper, but don't stick to my hand. That would be nice. Oh, it's almost straight-ish. Right. We all have our moments. Uh, yeah, I seem to be having a whole week of them at the moment. So, this is going to come down from the top. It's very well stamped. I think we'll turn that over and do a better job the second time. I'll put it over the same sort of area. So that hopefully it won't show through quite so badly. And then I need another really small stamp. Whose idea was this? Yeah, mine, I know. Let's not put my scissors in my ink pad. So this won't be as black. And with the best will in the world, I don't think I'm going to be able to line it up for a second time. So that's going to go inside that one. And this is going to have... Oh, and I must just stamp the cat in the box because it is the cutest thing in the world um, and then I will be done I won't, I'll finish the card later but I must just stamp the cat in the box um, because it is the cutest thing in the world uh, so let's pop that back in there let's have that and wish me luck I'm going in almost where I wanted it. Almost. So, I am going to bring my Stamparatus back and a piece of white would be novel. I had a large piece of white. There it is. But I do want to, and I'll stick those in in a moment. Um, what I want to do is stamp that cat in a box Ooh, that's a weird size okay now I'll go down <laughs> I will be determined it will be determined by the size of the piece of card I already have cut right so as I say I just want to quickly famous last words do this one I have actually mounted the stamps um, and now I want the stamparatus because why wouldn't I right so hinge I am unhinged so pop our piece of card in Pop 
our cat in the box in. Now the box is going to be kind of straight. There's two edges and I'm going to choose one of them to be straight, strangely. And I'm choosing that one to be straight. And of course it's going to lift up my piece of paper. Not it really matters at this stage because I've not really positioned it precisely. Right, so Memento, where have you gone? Oh, there you are. I just want to show you this one as well because it is so cute. But just in case I have my bone folder ready to go. Yeah, because it did pull up a little bit. Now, of course, you can stamp it if your cat is, that's slightly offset, never mind. Um, if your cat is not black, you could actually stamp it a different colour. There's a hole in the middle of my cat. There's a hole just there. It's because it's a big stamp. There we go. Right, so nice and black. Just clean that off and pop it away. And then I will line up the other stamp, which is here. And again, it doesn't line up perfectly. So it's not a, a true a true um, two-step. Right, I'm going to go really off the wall. I'm going to go Bermuda Bay. Which would be easier if I try and open the right end. Just, you know, you don't have to go Halloween colours is basically all I'm saying. And there we are. There is our little non-Halloween cat in the box. Now, of course, you could do it brown and it would be a stamping up box. But there we are. So I will finish this off. I won't do that now because I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but I will finish it off. I will try and finish it off with um, current mini catalogue products. Um just to show that you can use it with non-Halloween. Um, I mean, I could. what I could have done is use Highland Heather, which is the purple that's in the paper, but I want to show that this doesn't have to be just for Halloween. Um, there is the witch's hat as well, so I just pop that away. So there is the witch's hat, which I haven't used, and the bats. Um, but yeah, cute little set. So let me bring in the cards that I have finished and pop their liners in <coughs> while I clear my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, of course, this could be Halloween if you wanted it to be, because it does say boo and boo is sort of Halloween-y, but equally it doesn't have to be. You could put a happy birthday sentiment, you know, and have it as a boo for a happy birthday, um, like, you know, a surprise party. Um, thank you, Steffi. Um, so just think a little outside the box. Um, don't just think that it has to be Halloween. Uh, I think if you're investing in a stamp set, it's worth being able to use it for more things than just the one. I must take a drink. I'm sorry. <coughs> I have a sudden tickle. I think it's the smoke. I don't know where the smoke's coming from, but I wish it wouldn't. Um, but yes, do do think outside the box. Get the most out of your stamp sets um, because they are an investment. They'll be with you for years if you hang on to them and treat them nicely. Um, so <clears throat> think outside the box. So there we are. Those are our two finished cards. I will 
do something with our Bermuda Bay in a box. Um, but if you've liked them, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy my nuttiness, I'm going to flip the camera back up so I can talk to you properly. I was always taught to say goodbye properly. Um, I think the set would be hard as a guest stamper. I think you're right, Barbara. Um, so what Barbara's talking about is that I have a guest stamper on my team Facebook, mine, our team Facebook group. Each month I have a, one of the team is guest stamper and it's always a surprise as to who the guest stamper is. And all they do is, so they, they choose a, a stamp set up to a specific value and then they have to make just four cards, one each week. Um, although some of them do go above and beyond uh, and do lots and lots. Um, but I think you're right. It would be a challenging one as a guest stamper. I don't think it's impossible, but I think it would be challenging. Pam, sweet cards, but I'm not into Halloween. So comical birthday cards is much better for me. I like the nuttiness. Yeah, well, that's what you get. Uh, great cards. Thank, thank you, Audrey. So yes, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, I... I haven't decided whether it's going to be next week or the week after that I take off. It's probably going to be the week after, um, or certainly a couple of days. So, um, yeah, I will let people know and there will be a video to fill the slot. It just won't be live. So thank you very much indeed for joining me. So I've got an itchy ear. I've just realised I've been scratching my ear. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Have a good evening, morning, day. Um, and I will see you again very soon. That hand. Bye.